Alabama is heading up to Birmingham, the Birmingham Crossplex, for the 2022 NCAA Indoor Championships. Um, Coach, you're sending uh, uh, throwers, jumpers, uh, sprinters, and distance. You've always said that you want to have a complete program. Is this just another example of that? Uh, I absolutely. You know, it's. It's been part of the program. Obviously, we have great assistant coaches that do a great job and, and advance people to the national championships. And I've always been of the philosophy that you give great coaches opportunities with great athletes, and they'll get them to the national championships. So we basically have every event area represented, um, which is a credit to the athletes, credit to the coaches. Um, it's always been our philosophy in the program. Um, so something we're always very proud of. We always consider ourselves one of the best well-rounded programs in the country. Um, this is the uh, first time that the championships have been in uh, Birmingham since 2019, um, but y'all competed there three times in the, f um, in the early in the season already. Does that help with familiarity? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think you know we actually go up there and practice a couple times too. So, and you know over the years we've you know gone there two or three times a season to compete. So. You know, we kind of know how the track runs. We know how the warm-up works. We know uh, what the ring feels like, what the runways are all about. So I think it gives us a slight home field advantage if there is such thing indoors for us. So, um, and, and there is a true home field advantage in every sport, and including track and field. So we feel like it does set us up for maybe a little more comfortability, you know, feeling like we know what's going on, uh, you know, being able to compete at a big stage in, in your backyard. I mean, you're going to have a lot of friends and family in the stands, and so that'll make people feel relaxed and good. And finally, there's been a lot of talk about the parity in track and field, especially in the indoor. Um, how do you see that playing out this week? Uh, on the men's side, I think it's um, the, probably going to be the lowest point total in the history that I can remember to win the national championship. I think it's going to be uh, you know south of 40. So I think under in the 30s, and you can win the national championship. I think there's six teams that have a legitimate shot at winning. Um, so that's kind of exciting. It's going to come down to, you know, just every little point that's going to matter. And, you know, people are going to try to be perfect where that's where I think where probably mistakes will be made. You know, all you have to do is, as we tell our athletes all the time, just do what you did to get here and you're going to really shine. So um, hopefully we'll kind of go in there with a relaxed uh, mindset, understanding what we got to do, feeling like it's at home. We got lots of friends and family in the stands. And uh, hopefully we can just squeak some points out and be in, be in the conversation. Chris Walsh, do you have any questions for us? Yeah, Coach, can you hear me OK? Yes, sir. I, I apologize. I'm at the baseball game, so that's the, the background noise. Um, what was it like for you a couple of years ago when you went to the indoor meet and it was canceled at the last second, um, just emotionally for that team? Uh, you know, that was one of the hardest days I've ever coached. You know, I've, and I sit back and think about that, you know, uh, we had a lot of great athletes at that meet and, you know, going into, going into that, we had high hopes and we had great teams and, and uh, you know, just to kind of have, be standing in that hotel room telling all of our athletes that, hey, it's time to go home, that they're, they've canceled the national championships. And, and, you know, we did what we could, you know, we were all emotional. Um, we basically just kind of all sat around and, and talked, and I think we signed batons and signed, uh, you know, lanyards and credentials and different things, and try to make a memory of what that was and what you know what we did to accomplish to get there, and and then knew that we were have another chance to run again, and hopefully, and you know, thankfully that we had a chance to run last year, and we're kind of into this season, and and it feels as close to normal as it's felt for a while. Obviously, two years later. You have a few people who are on that team, though, that that are uh, on this one. It just how different is that to go from that to all of a sudden it's you know right down the road you're having the national championship so close. Yeah, it feels a little different, you know. Like we're getting on a we're gonna you know travel to Birmingham just in a couple minutes here and and go to eat and it's just gonna feel real familiar, you know. It's uh, you know. Um, you know, that, that hopefully we feel comfortable, you know, and we feel like this is home. And so, um, you know, it's going to be interesting. You know, we, we competed extremely well indoors in 19 um, when, we, when they had the, the championships at the Crossplex. We had a national champion, and I think our men finished, if I'm not mistaken, seventh in the country that year. And so, obviously, we feel like, you know, we can compete well there, and, and we have – you know, athletes that know what to do on, on that stage, you know, like they've been there before. And so we feel really good about that. 
is there a surprise? Well, I don't want to say surprise, but is there a person or two that might not be in the spotlight like some of the others that um, this might really work to their advantage this week? Um, I think probably uh, Emmanuel, our long jumper, triple jumper. Um, you know, he's kind of been working through some technical issues that he's corrected and he's got them fixed. And, and right as he was getting them corrected, he had a little ankle sprain um, at Arkansas in the second week in uh, February. And so um, he was uh, just a little bit off, um, uh, you know, so we didn't triple jump him at the conference championship. And I think, you know, if he gets on and gets rolling, he can jump some pretty amazing things. And I think he could surprise some people. Um, you know, it's just a matter of whether he can take his technical cues and practice that he's been working on and perfecting and then execute those on competition day on the runway. If he does that, I think that'll be the surprise of the meet for most everybody in, in, in our in our crew. Um, I, I do think that we've got a lot of athletes that are going to rise up to the occasion. Um, I think one of the things that we've worked very hard on over the last well, 11 years I've been the head coach here is that, you know, we talk about this at the conference championship every year is that we come to compete every single time. I mean, there isn't a single time I walk out of a championship setting that we don't feel like my team competed as hard as possible. Um, and that feels really, really good. And so I, I think that mindset and that, that culture, that mentality is, has been set. So when it gets to the national championships, they know what to do and how to do it. Um, you know, it's it's uh, you know, like I feel good about giving the ball to any of these guys and girls that we have going to nationals, meaning that, you know, hey, when, when the name's called, they're going to get it done. They know how to compete.